Hey guys, Dr. Papillon here with another cast video. This installation of my cast aspiration series covers three vampires, including all three vampire aspirations. The good vampire, the master vampire, and the vampire family trait, I believe that one is what that's called. I'm probably going to end up calling the video vampire family because three traits is a bit much for one video title. I don't think it's all that much when you actually see all the vampires put together in the video though. I really kind of enjoyed making this family because even though the daughter is a young adult and the parents are just adults, I kind of feel like it makes sense because they're vampires. And since they're vampires, they look youthful and stuff, and they could be a lot older than they actually look. But I kind of think that the daughter is really cute and kind of adorable. She's the good vampire. So, when I was making them, I kind of tried to make her edgy, but like, cute edgy. Like, she's got a really sweet face, and even her dark form isn't all that dark in my opinion. But I really enjoyed how these sims turned out, and that's basically all. Guess I'll start talking about other things. Um. Recently, I've been getting into cooking, and not sponsored, my mom just loves them and orders from them. We've been trying HelloFresh, and that's been really nice, and it's been getting me inspired to cook things that aren't just the stuff that they send us every once in a while. Like, last night, I made Pad Thai. It wasn't from a recipe they made. I found a recipe online, I made it, I tweaked it a little bit because there wasn't any meat in the Pad Thai in the recipe, but I know that my mom needs more protein than most people do because she's anemic, so I added in chicken and stuff. Um, I tweaked the recipe also because I made more noodles than it called for because I know my family likes noodles. And it turned out really good for my first time making Thai food as a very white person. <laughs> And so I think that's a win for me. Of course, I wasn't going for the most authentic. I was going for, does this taste like Pad Thai to me, a white person? And does it taste good? And it hit both of those boxes. It wasn't perfect. Like, the rice noodles started sticking together because I wasn't stirring them enough. And so some of them kind of got hard because they didn't cook through because they were stuck together. Um... But like the sauce was good, the chicken was good, I added in peanuts and raw carrots and bean sprouts and that tasted nice, like there was a good balance of textures. So that's really exciting. Later on this week I'm going to make, um, again chicken, because this time the chicken was on sale. The, it's um, chicken thighs with couscous, roasted cauliflower and green beans. And I think that that's going to be fun to make because I cooked couscous for one of the HelloFresh recipes a while back and it reminded me that I actually like couscous because it's, it's been a while since my family actually made couscous. I actually had it a few months back at my boyfriend's house because his mom had made it for dinner. But I think that this is going to be the first time I've cooked couscous without it being a HelloFresh meal and that's going to be exciting. And so I'm, I'm happy that I'm experimenting with things. Of course, I think tonight we're gonna just have like frozen fish fillets and tater tots or something. But it's nice that I am experimenting with home cooked weird foods that aren't, they aren't like your usual foods cause they're like international inspired and stuff. Like, Is my video going weird? No, it's not. Okay. It's just saying a really weird time. That isn't the time that it's supposed to be saying. Which is throwing me off. Um, but it's nice that I'm experimenting with a lot of newer foods. It's not mac and cheese. It's not spaghetti. It's not burgers. It's not pot roast. It's like restaurant food, kind of, but I'm cooking it at home. I know that's stupid to say, and 
I'm a decent enough cook as in I can follow a recipe. What I'm trying to teach myself is how to make meals without recipes. So right now I'm following recipes, but I'm, what I'm trying to learn is how do I pair meats with different types of grain or starches or vegetables? How do I season vegetables besides salt and pepper? Like the other day I put dill in my lima beans and that was pretty good. It's not that adventurous, but that's what I'm trying to improve. It's like physical execution of not chopping through my finger, which happened the other day. I was cutting potatoes and I cut straight through one of my nails. It didn't go too far into the nail bed, but it was bleeding, so. My nail's about better now, it's growing out pretty well. But, like, learning how to cut better, like, with better knife skills. Learning more advanced techniques, like, the other day I tried poaching an egg instead of just frying it. And that could have gone a lot better, but poaching eggs is not easy. So I forgive myself a little bit. I really tried with poaching the eggs, because I was poaching them for Mother's Day, because my mom really likes poached eggs. She liked it anyway. But, um, like, that's what I'm trying to teach myself right now for cooking. I've also been trying to teach myself a lot about making YouTube videos, since I've got a lot of free time for the summer. I've got a small summer job, but it's an event that I'm working. It's not a continuous weekly job. It's I work a few days, and then I work another few days a couple months later. So I, I'm not really doing all that much. I wake up in the morning, I watch some YouTube, I edit some videos, I upload them. And that's about it. I do, like, housework. Like, I've done the dishes today already. Probably have to do more dishes later on because I used a lot of pans last night when I was making the pad thai. But, um, I've been working on, of course, the photo editing. I mentioned that the other day in one of my videos. I think it was. I don't remember which one it was, actually. Hmm. Probably the Colonial? thinking about when I because I think I talked about it yesterday I recorded the voiceover yesterday and I didn't record any voiceover but the colonial voiceover yesterday so it must have been there but um I've been working on my photo editing skills I would say photoshopping but I'm not photoshopping I'm going into a program called GIMP which I don't really like the name of the program because I feel like it's not all that good to say on my channel for various reasons, but I've been making thumbnails with it and earlier today I uploaded a thumbnail of my founders for my new history challenge let's play and that was really fun because I cut out the background on the th uh, two pictures, I merged them together and kind of posed them a little bit and then I put in a background of like a forest and I outlined the text so it would pop better against the forest background. It was it was kind of fun. This one's also got a thumbnail. This thumbnail is a few days older than the vamp uh, the forest one, the vampires one. But I'm still kind of proud of it. It's a little bit blocky and sharp and I didn't cut it out all that much. But I kind of like the idea of the white outline around them since the picture is so dark otherwise with their dark hair, dark clothes, dark red background. I just kind of feel like if I had done a smoother job cutting around their shapes it would have looked a lot better. But you know, I, I think it will be good enough for this video. I'm trying to get better. I've never said that I was perfect at doing things. I'm getting better at doing things. My audio editing is still about the same that it always is, because I've been doing audio editing for going on five years now, I think. Oof. But, um, I'm kind of 
feeling fine with that. I got into a routine about every time I record my voice, I noise cancel, I equalize, I normalize, then I merge it with the music. I'm already listening to the music, I just, I remove the music and add it back in after I edit the audio so that I understand about what point of the music I'm listening to. It's a Sims 2 soundtrack like always, because it doesn't get copyrighted, and I like it, and it's nostalgic, and it's it's fairly neutral. Like it's kind of happy, it's nice, but it's neutral, and I really like that. Um, besides that, uh, video editing, I don't feel like I've improved that at all since like the second video I uploaded. Because the videos I've been making are very much the same format, like, I plop in the footage of the recording, I plop in a bunch of screenshots, I cut the screenshots to be shorter duration, because it, it immediately plugs them in as like, one minute duration each, and it's like, that's a little bit excessive for some screenshots. I like to keep it at like, one minute maximum for all of the screenshots depending on if it's a build it might last like a minute and a half but for this video I tried to keep it fairly simple um and then the end card last 20 seconds I plop that in on the end once I get the voiceover and music exported I plug that in trim that to size then I save and export the video as a whole and then it's good but, um, what's about that? I see that right now I'm working on... Looks like Felicity. I think that's her name. Pretty sure that's her name. Um, again, I really think she's cute. I was really considering making her a teen, but I kind of want to keep all of my sims as young adults or older until I go into the kids and I do all kid aspirations. But I think I might do the kid aspirations with some of the family aspiration sims, so... I'm gonna worry about that at a later time. But I think... I really think that Felicity's kinda cute. She's kinda like... Modern, edgy, a little bit punk, but she's also kinda like sweet and... A little bit tumblery, like goth tumbler. So not like real goth, but like tumbler goth. I think she's got a really sweet, small face. She kind of looks like Cassandra Goth to me. That's a little bit weird of me to say, but she looks like Cassandra Goth to me. I feel like they might be friends. Like, she might be the sweeter, less nerdy friend to Cassandra Goth. Less geeky. But it's still a little geeky. I didn't want to give her pimples or anything, though. Because I didn't feel like that would fit her character. I feel like Cassandra Goth would have come with pimples had Parenthood been available at the time. I'm getting into cold weather now. If you can't tell, I've run out of things to say, so I'm just watching my own video and enjoying it. You know, without the voiceover, it's kinda nice. <laughs> just listening to the music, watching the video. Except for I'm making the voiceover right now, which means it's kinda not great. I'm sorry for all of you guys that actually listen to all of this. But, um... Now I'm giving them all traits. Oh, I still have to go through her dark form. That's why I've got so much time. I tried to keep their dark forms very simple. Only changing a few of the outfits. Because, like, realistically, would they have brand new swimsuits for their dark forms? Would they have a different dark form pajama set? I don't think so. I feel like they might change their everyday and their formal wear, and that's it. And, oh now I'm taking screenshots, aren't I? Yeah, look at that. I deleted almost all of them. I just, I wanted to only keep the screenshots that I was gonna use in the video, so I tried to keep roughly three per character. And so a dark form, a stock photo of their face, and then one expressive photo. 
And it looks like I'm getting to the point in the video where I can wrap up the voiceover. So, I've been Dr. Papillon. Follow me on Origin at dr underscore p-a-p-i-l-l-o-n. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what aspiration you'd like to see in the next video. Bye, everybody.